I saw the Silhouette Cameo electronic cutting tool over at the NBM show, and then there was a gal over there that really was so excited to tell me about it, but I really put it on my list of things to get, and eventually I gave in and I got one. So here's what it looks like. This is my Silhouette Cameo. Basically it comes with this cutting mat, and this is a protective sheet of paper. You take it off and you take the uh, card stock or the paper stock that you're going to cut and you place it on. Usually I would think you'd want to do at least card stock because um, it's uh, for making things like scrapbooking cutouts and things like that. So I just finished making one that I wanted to show and it's a little uh, ninja guy standing in a, a kata pose. And I just wanted to show the process of taking it from uh, organic drawing to a cutout because there are a few steps that you have to go through for that. So, this is what I had Bujin Comics draw up for me. So, he drew up actually the first one and part of the second one, and he's since done the other two. And so, this is what it looked like when he drew it and this is what it looks like cut out and as you can see it's pretty good I went ahead and smoothed out some of the bumps um, but there you have the option to leave leave them all in there or smooth them out or you can make it even more stylized where there are very hardly any sharp angles so to do this I imported it into Adobe Photoshop did some tweaks, adjusted it in Illustrator, more tweaks, and then put it into Silhouette, more tweaks again, and then cut it. So I'll show you a bit of the process. Ninja four poses. Okay, here we go. So this is the scanned um, page that I have um, that I that was drawn by my husband, and now I just want to crop out one of them. So let's say I'm cropping out this one so that I can work just with that. Okay, so then we'll do File, Save As, and we'll save it as a Photoshop file, but we're going to save it as Pose, um, I'm going to call it 4.2 because I'm not sure they have in what other names I have in there. So now we'll zoom in a bit, control plus to zoom in to see what we've got. And we have, um, it's, although it's all black and white, um, there's a significant amount of color shading going on. So we want to go ahead and select, oh actually we want to, we want to magic wand. There we go. That's better. Okay. And, um, but now if you look at the colors, you'll see there are actually several variations on the shades of black. Like here's lighter, there's a little bit darker. So we want to even that up a bit. So we'll just paint back at it. See, but we still, we're evening it up, but we've still got some holes. Some substantial holes. So I'm just going to, if I just kind of sit here and keep clicking, it expands it. Okay, so there. Now it's all shaded black. And I like to keep a little bit of the texture in. When you're doing these silhouette drawings, 
you can stylize it by removing a lot of the curves. I like the curves because it has a little bit of the organic flavor of the original drawing in it. So now I can save as, actually I'll just save it, and then I'll save as the JPEG again. Uh, actually, not JPEG. Okay, so this is something I need to say. We need to not save it as a JPEG because um, JPEG will um, add some other colors along the edge to try to... Um, you'll get um, shades of gray that um, are lighter and lighter as you go out and you don't really want to do that. So let us go over to Illustrator now. And